What if you can build your own game where you adopt and raise an alien, complete with stats, automatic saving, and other features, which will use AI in combination with Firebase, making this task surprisingly simple. So by the end of this video, you will know how to set up augment code, you'll know how to use augment code, and you will know how to publish your first web app with no coding background. You're gonna to wanna to first download VS Code, so I'm gonna have a link in the description below. I have a whole section for links. You can download and install VS Code and it will look something like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to Augment Code and you can create an account and there is this VS Code button here. You're going to click that. It's going to pop this up here with Visual Studio. It's gonna say install and it's going to wanna to open up in VS Code. We can hit continue, we're gonna open it up and it is going to open up in a window like this. So now we can hit install, we trust the publisher, and our augment code is installed. On the left, on the left, we're gonna to wanna to sign in. Once you log in with your credentials, we can hit open Visual Studio Code, and we're going to end up with something like this. So on the left side, we have this new little icon called augment. And it says, welcome back. Please open a project folder to begin, or we can create a project, we can open a folder or clone a repository. So if you know anything about GitHub, you can also do that. So we're gonna pick create a new project and we're gonna give it a name. We are 100% set up to have AI to start coding for us. And before we get into that, I need you to click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest AI content. I cover AI each and every day. And I think 90% of you who watch this will not subscribe. So just do it, it's free, it helps me continue to make videos and I cover really cool AI content like this. So let's continue. So now in the top left, we have this button here, which is chats. So we can just create new chats, similar to a regular large language model. And at the bottom, we can ask it to do stuff for us. Where it gets really cool is we can just chat with it and we can say, hey, what are your thoughts on this? There is also this button called agent and if we type that, it will prompt us along the way to say, hey, do you wanna make these changes? And what changes do you wanna make along the way? We also have Agent Auto, which is really cool because Agent Auto will automatically run everything for you automatically. So as it finds errors, it's going to fix them. So let's start. So now on the left side, we have this prompt here. I want to make a game using Firebase. I want to allow users to sign in with Google. Then if it is their first time, they should be able to select an alien and adopt as their default. Then I want to have a bunch of things they can do with their aliens, keep stats, add additional features. If they already have an account, bring up their existing data. So now we can hit go or submit. And Augment is going to start figuring out everything we need. It's going to make a plan and it's going to literally go from the start to the finish to make our app work. If there are errors, it's going to recompile. So it is going to make it all work. So as you can see here, it is actually accessing our terminal at the bottom and it is installing things that it needs and it's gathering information. So here's the plan it has come up with. It is creating a project, it's configuring Firebase. So we need Firebase. And if you don't know, Firebase is just a service offered by Google that it is useful for low traffic because it is free within like limits. And then as your traffic increases, they charge you for usage. So I just like using Firebase. Now we have our application structure. We have a login sign in. Services has a Firebase file now where it says, hey, you have to fill in this information, which we will do. And then we have pages. There's no pages yet. Oh, look at that. We have a login page. It just popped up and it has just coded this entire page for us. We have components and there's no components yet. And we have assets. There's no assets yet. So we can go back to Augment and we can see exactly what it's doing. And it is just running. So we can see a stop button. We can see the number of files it's changed and we can just keep talking to it. Meanwhile, our Firebase is all ready to go and we can come back up here to settings. We can go to project settings and then at the bottom, we can click this web icon. We wanna set up hosting for this app as well and we can hit register. At this point now, you should have a Firebase config. You're going to copy that chunk of code over and we're gonna paste it into the firebase.js file that I was showing you earlier. So it'll have like a const which is a variable, it's saying a constant variable, Firebase config, you're just gonna paste it over top. Now our app is connected to Firebase. So while we're setting up hosting, the code is still running and it is still creating stuff for us. So it is adding mini games based on the current structure. Here is the plan for mini games. So it's going to create a new directory for mini games. 
it's going to implement three simple mini games, a memory match, space race, and alien quiz. It's going to add rewards, update the dashboard, and everything else we need. So it is creating each one of these right now. We still have no idea how our app looks, but we're going to try that after this is done. And then we can start tweaking it to our liking. We haven't enabled authentication yet. So on Firebase, you have to go to all products, scroll down till you find authentication, which is here. And then we're going to hit the get started so we can actually enable this and set this up so it works. We're going to pick Google and we're going to hit enable. We're going to go to Firestore databases on the left and then we're going to enable or create database. We're going to come back here. We're going to hit copy. This is the security rules for our app. We're going to go back at the top. We're going to go to rules, delete this, and we're going to hit publish. We're going to come here. We're going to sign in. We're going to pick our alien, adopt, and it still doesn't work. So not a great start, but we will get this to work. By going to the console log, we can get the error. I said, when I go to select my alien to adopt, I get a content script is running error. And I pasted the error from my console log and it does not actually let me select an alien to adopt. I also said, make the homepage before logging in look nicer, more fancy. I want the entire site to be themed green. So it's going to go through, it's going to hopefully fix the errors, make our website work, and it's going to retheme it all, making it look better. So it makes an analysis, it's fixing everything up, and it is fixing the alien selection functionality, and now it is redesigning with a green theme instead of what we had before. So here is our updated website, Adopt an Alien. It is much nicer looking, I guess. Uh, the sign-in, it says connect your Google account, select your perfect alien, feed, play, and enjoy mini games. So now we can hit sign in with Google and I guess our alien has went through from before when we adopted Zorb. So we have our alien. We can see our stats and our alien is just a Z. So we can say, hey, we want to feed him and he enjoyed a meal. Is this great? No, but this is 25 minutes to get this prototype. Let's enhance this even further. This time around, I gave it four instructions to update, make a nav bar so you can jump around to each screen, add a pop-up slash message for notifications, show the alien's XP and level remaining under the alien itself, and make the aliens an image, create them using SVG code. So we can hit submit. And while this is working, I wanna show you some of the stuff this thing can do. So we can actually share our session so we can get other people involved. We can create a new chat like I showed you before. There is this button here called augmented memories. So you can actually see the memories of what it remembers based off things you want. So we can see information about deployment, authentication and game development. So it keeps up to date of all the little things that we tell it and it builds this memory chart to remember certain things that are important to develop things you want. You can also click the paperclip to attach images and there's this app button. So you can actually say, hey, what files do you want it to read or folders? We can clear the context. If we click user guidelines, it pops up augment settings. So we can actually see what we have access to. And right now at the time of this video, it is still unlimited because we are in early access. So completely free, 100% unlimited. You can also connect it to GitHub so it can start working with GitHub in the background. You can connect it with Notion and all these different things. And you can also connect servers. You can even add user guidelines for your chat. So think of this as like a system prompt. So under user guidelines, you might wanna put something like keep it simple and stick to my original idea of things I want because sometimes this program, Augment Code, will go on its own path to add features that you didn't ask. But sometimes the features they add is really cool. So it's a give and take and you can see the context of what it is working with currently and you can see all the files that it is able to read so currently in this project there is 18,000 files and a lot of that is because of the modules that it installed but nonetheless it is able to read and keep up with all these files all at once so while we've been talking it is updating everything on the left based off what we asked truthfully now i'm just going to prompt it back and forth to make tweaks to my alien agency game and I'm going to spend one hour total prompting. So at the one hour mark, that's where I'm gonna stop. You guys can see the final product now. After some back and forth, I have a final product to show you. So this is the last prompt that I have sent through or the last couple I'm gonna just show you. I've been going back and forth with it quite a bit over the last hour, so it's giving me plans, but I said make all the CSS and pages responsive so they work on any device. So it was working on that. And then lastly, I told it to center align 
all the stuff in the middle so it looks a little bit better and push the updates to Firebase. So you don't even have to know how to do that. It will do it for you. And it is just sending its final update now and it is making it look beautiful, hopefully, maybe. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. This is what it looks like. Can it look better? Most definitely. But this was pretty quick to make this entire website that you see. And I'll have a link in the description below so you can try it out yourself. It's called Alien AA, Adopt, Raise, and Adventure with your alien companion. And we have a sign in button, we have a welcome screen, and it looks a lot nicer and it tells you how to play. So let's sign in. And now we can choose our starting alien and we have three different ones. They look a lot better. So we are going to go with our buddy Zorb. He's just what we do. And we're going to adopt him. It says we have successfully adopted Zorb. And I guess we have to refresh, maybe. It says loading, there we go. Now we are in the dashboard and these tweaks can be fixed obviously by going back and forth it will fix it but this is the base of what we have and again very quick so on the left we have coins we have our xp a level I'm just gonna like zoom in so it is a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit easier but uh you can see on the left we have our guy we have our energy happiness it can be expanded a little bit but we can feed him we can play with him we can let him rest and also we can bring him to the gym. So we have the alien gym and we can select a gym to train. So we can see the current level for the gym and the energy and the current strength. So we have a beginner gym here that we can actually start training in. And then there's all these locked gyms that you have to level up. So we can hit start training. Training has completed. And you can see there is this little XP. So as we do stuff with our character, Zorb, he is going to gain experience points. I had to refresh to be able to see the experience points, but again, it can fix this stuff along the way. We can go to the Explore tab. On the Explore tab, we have Explore Alien World, and we have this stuff here. So we have the Games Arena, and we have these two games here. So we have the Mini Game Hub, and the Hub will give you coins. So you can see we have coins here, coins there, 10 coins per correct answer. So if we hit Start, it's going to cost 90 energy. So we can hit play and it says, what is the name of the galaxy that contains our solar system? So we can go through and guess and it'll say, hey, whether it's right or wrong and it will tell you, you know, red or green. So you can see the difference. And at the end of this, we're going to get some coins. You might ask, what are we gonna use the coins for? Well, we have the alien shop. So we can buy food, we can buy toys, we can buy potions, health, training boost, and all sorts of little things for our alien. But we also have the ability to go to the explore tab and we have the adoption center so we can actually go to the adoption center and right now we have one out of 25 aliens collected so we can view our collection and we can see zorb and he is the current active alien we have we can go back and we can get this mystery box so it costs 250 and we adopted an uncommon called frost and we can see who he is so we can go to our collection now and we can make frost as our active alien or we can go back to Zorb and we can see the levels for each one. You can keep buying aliens and you can see the percentage chance for different ones. So now I'm in a position where as my game gains popularity, I can add an update where I can add packages where people can unlock aliens with real currency or like premium aliens that are paywalled basically to make money. On Explore, we have the collection hall, which is what you saw, it's just the aliens we own. And then we also have the money tree garden. So you can come to the tree and the tree is ready. Shake it to collect your coins. We can shake it. We just collected 86 coins from our tree. You can see the little animation it made and it tells you the tips. So it can only be harvested once every six hours and it tells you what it can give you. So if we were to refresh this now, we can't get anything more in the tree because the tree is still growing and there's this countdown it tells you when it was last harvested. Let's get another alien. So we have another alien now in our collection. And if you get a duplicate, it just makes your alien jump up a level. Notice the YT button in the top? That leads you back to the channel where you should subscribe. Because if you're watching this and you're playing this game, subscribe so you can access to the latest and greatest AI content. And I will keep you up to date on a daily basis. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it. It tells the YouTube algorithm you enjoyed this type of content. And don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite way of coding is right now 
if you are a coder, what are you using that helps you? If you're a non-coder and you're doing these no code builds like I just did, what tool is your favorite? I like this one because it is completely free right now during beta and it is completely unlimited. I have thrown some pretty large repositories to it and it was able to handle and keep up with all of it. Absolutely incredible. And special shout out to the viewer who left a comment saying, hey, can you do a complete start to finish publish a app video? Because I take your comments, I read them, and I made this video. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.